Hey guys, it's Fish Our Beast, and today I'll be teaching you how to care for the peppered koi. And, alright, I'm sorry about this. Um, when I was making this video, I was watching my sister. So, yeah, hey. there she is. Alright, I'll put the pH and uh, cardiness in the top corners, as I always do. And I'm going to do this from now on. I'm going to say their scientific names. So, the scientific name of the peppered koi is Corydoras platitus, I'm pretty sure. And for the peppercorn, and they need to be kept at 72 to 80 degrees Fahrenheit. They're a very social creature, and they like to hide under plants and driftwood, so you need to have that. They eat shrimp pellets and flakes that fall to the bottom. But, and their um, the vegetables you want to feed them is like, mine like potatoes, but I'm pretty sure you can find other vegetables you can feed them. And check out my potato video if you want to learn how to feed them. I don't think they ate it in that video, but whatever. They do like to eat them, though. They go good with about any fish. This is the same as uh, the albino quarry video. But that are not ones that are not big enough to eat them or that are not, not aggressive. Like, again, I know someone that has a quarry and, uh, with a red-tailed shark. And the red tail shark chases around and harasses it the whole time. So a red tail shark wouldn't be good. Um, they should be kept in groups of three because if they're by themselves, they'll get stressed. And again, females are larger than males. And they, and uh, peppercorns grow to be up two inches and a little bit bigger. And I said this in my last video they need to be kept in ga 10 gallons or bigger for one they don't need to be kept in 10 gallons but if you're gonna have more than one you should get 10 gallons or bigger F I would say five gallons is the least just for one they're very easy to breed you just need to get a bunch of them and get lucky like s lucky with a uh, male and female um as you can probably tell they have like the black patches on them and they're like darkish brownish feature and the bottom feeders and as you can probably see right here mine's coming up you can see the black nah and sometimes they have different uh, dorsal fins I guess you would say they're on top different colored on them and um, yeah that's about it um I forgot what to say. all right until next time next time guys See ya.